Welcome, friends. How do you how do you fucking do, lads? How's it going? It's been so long. It has been like a whole day, at least. It's been like 12 hours or something since I last played bl bad games. Blad games, yes. I was playing Borderlands 2 this morning, and oh boy, do I remember why I don't like Borderlands. I don't know why they decided to put inventory management in an FPS or who thought Claptrap was a good idea, but you know, it's fine. We're going to be playing some more terrible old video games. I'm sorry if you're here thinking that we're like playing Fortnite. And sorry, no. Uh, <laughs> that's not going to happen. I did try to play Apex Legends one time, and the moment that I loaded into the game, uh, none of my movement worked. And... Um, yeah, then it crashed, so that was cool. Um, not partial to Apex Legends or anything of that ilk, so no, I think we're going to be playing some some weird old shit, and it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to stick primarily to NES this time. We might jump around a bit. There were a couple of games that I wanted to play last time, specifically, that were actually good games that I totally blanked on playing, so I'm gonna try to remember to, to, to check out the Power Blade games. Which I've now spoiled the secret, but if you haven't heard of them, go play the fucking Power Blade games, they're awesome. They're like these super underrated games on the NES. We're gonna see those in a bit, we're gonna see those. But for now, let's find something bad. Uh, let's take this down here, we don't need that, there's no need. Let's fire on the old retro arc. And let's see what you guys are up to. We got the week of stream it. That's right, Tristan. Yes, that that is correct. Uh, I, I'm gonna mod you actually, just in case there's any more uh, <laughs> super fun spam bots. Uh, which, as we've discussed in the past, I'm okay with the spam bots. They're fun. They add some color to the stream. <laughs> uh, let's see, Cumulator Two, the bottle flipping master. <laughs> I've never heard that, uh, but I'll, I'll see if I got it. What's up, deafening? I've never seen a stream, and I'm fel felling mega drunk. <laughs> well, uh, you're typing like it as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm doing okay. I had a, I had a, I had a, a booze myself earlier. I partook in the, in the illicit boozing. I had a, a whole entire beer, one entire beer. It was a Sapporo, and it wasn't that good. 
I didn't like it. I think it's from Rice or something like that. Uh, it was just bitter and kind of not very good. Uh, I think I like darker beers usually. Um, this was more of a more of a light thing. Not the best. Not the best. Um, hi, Dad. What's up? Uh, well, you know, making spaghetti. Currently got it on the boil. It's looking pretty fantastic. It's got another hour and a half to simmer or something. And I figured, you know, I could either just sit in my bed and stare at the ceiling like Shinji from Neon Genesis. This for that. Fuck! I can't say anything right. God damn it! Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, you know, just stare up at the ceiling like that. Um, but yeah, that, then I thought I could stream instead, and and so that's why we're here. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it here. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I'm not going to be around for too too long tonight because I do have spaghetti to cook and things like that. Maybe we should play some Game Boy Advance. Maybe I should finally play the fucking Herbs game <laughs> that I promised uh, a while ago. I was going to play the Herbs Sims in the City, the Game Boy Advance version, because it's fucking amazing and it's really underrated and nobody's ever. Wait a second. Hang on. Aliens. Oh, oh go, go hold their fort. Hey, uh, aliens Thanos encounter. Okay, fuck whatever I was just talking about. We're playing Thanos game. This is a Game Boy Color game. Let's do it. Get down, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Obama. Let's do it. Let's get it. S. Get it. Okay, I don't know if I've actually played anything on the... Oh, come on. You swine. You fucking scum. What is this? Play my game. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, the Thanos game is not happening, I guess. We're not going to be playing Fortnite after all. <laughs> so you have to find something that isn't Thanos. Thanos just just snapped our... our our uh, emulator in half. So let's let's go back. Let's uh oh, I know what we can play if I can run it. Let's do Castlevania 64. <laughs> this game is given a little more shit than I think it deserves, but by 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 no mistake, it does it Oh no, it's not loading. What's the problem now? Failed to load fu fuck you. <laughs> Even the fucking M okay, so we're two, we're zero for two in video games. Let's just go back to NES where everything was safe. This worked last time. <laughs> we're gonna go to NES. We're gonna play something terrible on the NES. Uh, some something bad. Y y you know, uh, my Mylon Secret Castle. That's pretty bad. Let's play this one. Play Survival Kids. I don't, I, I'm not sure what system that's for, but I'll look for it. People in chat are, seem to be kind of upset by the no Thanos. Uh, I, I feel your pain. Why do I not have a D-pad? Okay, can I move though? Okay, now I can move, that's good. Um, so this is what I, what I remember from this game, from the uh, AVGN video I saw, was this game is incredibly cryptic and there's just weird shit happening all over the place. I just jumped up and now there's like this happening, oh god. Okay, well, we better get in here quick. So this game is, like, notoriously very cryptic and doesn't make a lot of sense. And you have to, like, you have to, like, just know what they're doing, I guess. <laughs> just know what they expect from you uh, in order to be good at it. Um, I don't think I've ever played this. I don't think I'm ever going to after this. Um, so you break blocks, I guess. But you can't break every blocks. You can only break some blocks. Can I break these blo- no. And then enemies are just all over the place. This is just a fucking war zone. Oh god. Okay, but we don't die instantly. This isn't like some cheapo, cheapo video games. But we found the door, we found the secret door, and we can't go in, because I think it needs a key. So we gotta find the key, I guess. Okay, there's this happening now. Can I get- yeah, good, I got the money. Uh... What, what does the money do? Oh man, I am rich. Look at all of this cash. God damn. Yeah, give me, a, give me the heart. I want that. No. No, you fuck off. No, this is my platform. You get away from... Okay, so we need to find a key. 
There's windows pointing to the door, but we can't get there because we need to find a key. And the only way to find... Oh, there's a door there. The only way to find the keys... Okay, we can't get there. Is to just, like, shoot at everything. Because it's, like, hidden somewhere. And you just have to, like, tap B everywhere and hope that you find the thing. This isn't very good. You know how Witcher 3 has the fucking... <laughs> Is the fucking Witcher Vision pixel hunting shit where you have to like wander around a circle for 20 minutes until you find the right thing. This is basically this in 2D form. This is the Witcher Zero, ladies and gentlemen. The the stunning prequel. Uh, Geralt is looking a little different. Why is the key there now? Okay, so now I have the key, I guess. I'm not sure why it showed up, but it did. Uh, did that, I guess, and now I'm done that level. Uh... <laughs> What is going on? Now I'm back out here and I got hit by something before I could do anything about it. So that's great. Um, um, I, I went through this. This game kind of sucks. I think I'm about to call it quits. I'm just about to call it quits. This is pretty, this is pretty fucking anus. Um, okay, I can't get up there. Okay, um... Shuffle me off from this mortal coil. Yeah, we're, that was a... Wow, that's not even like a funny bad game. That's just fucking awful. That's just... Uh, wander around and find... Uh, okay, that's good. <laughs> not off to a great start with the bad game. You know what's a good bad game? 3D World Runner. This, game, this is an awesome bad game. Because it, it is kind of shit, but it's like, it's admirable. This one's this one's great. Just what just you wait. Look at these graphics, ladies and gentlemen. This shit is about to happen. Look at this fucking why wasn't this at E3? This is amazing. There's nothing on the market that looks like this right now. These are really state of the art graphics if you think about it. You think you think fucking Cyberpunk is going to have a mode that looks like this? Okay, I couldn't Oh, I think I'm supposed to move faster by pressing up, I guess. Yeah, okay, now we're moving. Now we're playing with power. Now we're running with speed and efficiency. This is this is basically Mario in first person. They did it. And then sometimes, ooh, sometimes you got to, like, reduce your jump. You got to, like, skadoodle to a stop in midair. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. This is just groundbreaking. I, I'm, I'm in shock. It's very hard to steer. <laughs> oh, I got the balloon. I got it. I'm going to Disneyland. We did it. Okay. The game is still happening. We're collecting stars, I guess. Is this like a bonus room? This is kind of shit. <laughs> It's fast, though. It's it's pretty impressive for the NES. Like, it's not that fun, but... You know, fun isn't everything. That's what games journalists taught me. The most important thing about video games is what social messages they they, they hammer home. It's not about fun. Fuck you, gamers. You, you shitty Twitter goblins. I'm sorry, I've been catching up on the uh, cyberpunk drama that's happening. Where some white people from rock, rock, Paper, Shotgun are currently telling a black guy that his thing is racist against black people. So that's cool. Uh, <laughs> we've, pretty much, we've pretty much reached peak uh, getting offended for somebody else on somebody else's behalf. Okay, I'm going to quit this game pretty soon because this is just... It just keeps going on, really. Uh... Not exactly the most visually appealing or entertaining game of the NES. Um, but, man, am I ever good at it. Look at these fucking moves. You can't stop me. You think... You think you could beat me playing this game? You think you could... Oh, God. Um, all right. Well, j download now from the iPhone App Store 3D World Runner and play me now. Find my clan, y'all. Hit me up on my Epic Gamer Clan tag, and we can do the battles online. Yo. Epic. <laughs> okay, so that's Shadow whatever. What is this called? What is this? 3D World Runner? Okay.
I was gonna say Raid Shadow Legends, but that that bit is done. Um, let's move on. <laughs> let's check the chat here, see what's going on. Um, Game Boy Color Hercules has a fantastic soundtrack. I remember this, kind of like a bad memory. That goddamn cat launching game, Flash game. Uh, we're playing old, old like normal games, not Flash games. That could happen sometime though. I do have a lot of. Nostalgia for like old early 2000s flash games if I can find like a bunch of them like monkey What was that one monkey maze? It was like balderdash, but you played as a little monkey fella And then there was like oh man does anybody else remember shock machine? It was like this it was like the fucking Netflix of, of flash games <laughs> You just downloaded it and you had this whole rotating selection of like king of the hill mini golf and donut boy 3 It was amazing um, anyways, let's get back to it here. Uh, let's play some, um, oh god, Bill and Ted's excellent, okay. Sure, we're gonna play some Bill and Ted, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have never watched a Bill and Ted movie, so this might be, this might be a little bit out of my, uh, wheelhouse, but you know what? Uh... Isn't Keanu Reeves in this? So it's topical. I kind of get this one mixed up with Wayne's World. So that's probably my bad. Also Surf Ninjas. All very similar movies. Um, so Cleopatra, we know her number. Wait, what? Fuck. Okay. We can change pages. This is an interesting way to start your Bill and Ted game. Just have me find... Uh, okay, fought. we're gonna go with Confucius, our bro, our man. He's gonna teach us all the sayings to get the ladies. Five 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 six three six two. I'm sure if any of us call this right now, wait, what what was it? God damn it, six three six two. If any of us call this right now, it's gonna be a porn line. I think we all know that. You're welcome to try. No, C press press A. Okay, I am. No, I d what? Six three, six two. Press A. No, that takes. Okay, that's B. Two. Press A. I'm pressing the. You have no idea. You okay? I need you to genuinely appreciate how hard I'm pressing A right now. It's not doing anything. <laughs> okay, so Confucius isn't at home. I don't think he wants to answer. Let's hit up Cleopatra here. I I feel a little more confident. You know, we got the answering machine. We heard a voice. Where our social skills are, 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 you know, we practiced a bit. We got to practice on his answering machine. So let's, let's ask Cleopatra out here. 555-9509. Uh, okay. 555-9509. It's going to be a hot, sexy singles number. Press A. No, I'm pressing A. What the fuck? It's not letting me do it. Okay. Well, this game doesn't work, so fuck Bill and Ted. <laughs> Okay, I've never played a game that tells you to do a thing and then it just immediately doesn't work, but that's fun. Uh, I'm gonna assume that that's basically the same experience as the movie. I'm gonna judge the movie based on this game. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna, yeah, that's fine. Um, there's a Blues Brothers game. Oh, we could play the Terrible Bugs Bunny games, everybody. Um... <laughs> California game. Oh, the California Raisins game. Yeah. We're going to play some hot raisin on raisin sex. It's going to be some smutty fucking raisin on raisin action, baby. I can't believe we know why this was never released on the NES. Because this just didn't pass the, the censors, you know? This was, a, this was, no, this was too good. We're going to just play on normal. We're going to go to the factory. We're going to try this out. What, what kind of moves do we got? All right. So we can jump on guys. We can shoot. Guys. Alright. Uh, get the suns. We got the sun. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Don't you love those classic NES games where the enemies re-fucking spawn every time you, like, walk a, s a fucking pixel off the screen? Isn't that great? Okay, we got some tough, tricky platforming here. Some real serious challenge, but we made it. We did it, and now we're gonna slide down that pole. Look at that! 
Look at that boy go. Look at he go. He is just working the fuck out of that shaft, baby. All right, so shoot these guys. We're, we're getting an owl. Oh, God. They keep hitting us. This isn't good. This isn't how to properly raise them. We got a music thing, so that's important. Oh, God. No, I shot him. That doesn't... Okay, fuck you. I shot one of those guys once, and it didn't do anything. But here we are somewhere. I guess this is something. Where? Where is this? Where? Where am I, and how did I get here? Okay, those guys need to be shot twice. We've learned this much. Oh, God. You don't have any time to react to this shit. My God. And then th those things... Oh, this is one of those games. <laughs> this is just one of those fucking games where it's just an endless... It's like This reminds me of the fucking Mega Man DOS games. Where you're just like a huge sprite that's too big for your own good. And you're walking around these fucked up, like, tunnels. And there's just shitty, nondescript enemies everywhere that you can't avoid because... Bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Fuck you, Elvis Raisin. Alright, that was Raisin Game. <laughs> We have not learned how to raise them effectively, but you know what? You know what? I think, uh... Aren't the California Raisins like a fucking lost... That was like a, a brand that existed for like five minutes in the 90s. And then people realized that disgusting dried husks of raisins were not like... Cute or... <laughs> or like, you know... People wouldn't want that to be your raisin mascot. Like, it's hard enough to sell raisins as it is. They're disgusting. So. <laughs> uh, let's check the chat here, see what's going on. This should have been Anthem. Play with Drist Tristan J's game. <laughs> but gamers rise up. Yay a stream was just thinking about how soul crushing the state of our society is. And then I was surprised by a Deadwing Dork stream notification. Perfect timing. Yeah, I mean, do you see some of this shit? Do you see the shit that I'm playing? Did you watch me play Circus Caper last night, last time? Don't make me do it again. I could do it. I have the power here. <laughs> if you want to know how bad our society, bottom text, it really is. Just play Circus Caper. That'll that'll clear it up. Um, let's find something else that's bad. Something something real shit. Something nasty. Something in the fucking lower bottom depths of the NES. Something nobody has ever wanted to play on purpose. Uh, first Final Fantasy, maybe, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Fisher Price games. This could this could be good. Uh, fist. We tried that one. Frankenstein game. GI Joe game. <laughs> oh God, should I play Graf I don't know. I think I think the nerd covered that one sufficiently. I need to find stuff that's like unique, original, horrible NES games that nobody's... You know what nobody's ever talked about? Hudson Hawk. I think this was based on a Bruce Willis movie, if I'm not mistaken. Which I never saw, but I remember this was another one of those games that I would play as a kid just because I like had it in my folder. Of perfectly legitimately acquired NES games, of course. Um, but I just had it in my folder and I was like, what is this? Oh, it's a game. Wow, I can play games? Sign me up, dude. I'll play this. What is it? Sure. Th thing. Cool. So yeah, you're you're this guy, and you've got to jump over dogs, I guess. You can throw balls, but they don't do anything. Uh, can you get on the... No. Oh, they do, they do do anything. Alright. Okay. We're gonna get... Fuck off. Fuck off, bird. Okay. We're gonna get across this thing. It's gonna be great. Okay, to be fair, the background here looks pretty cool. The buildings and stuff, this is pretty nice. It's a pretty nice looking piece of shit game, at least. Why are there like dogs everywhere? <laughs> I have not seen this movie before, but I'm I'm going to assume that the dogs are the primary antagonist. Um, so we got boxes. That much is confirmed. Uh, can't get in there. Can't get in over that that way. Fuck that dog. This game has no chill. Does not care about doggo. Why am I crawling? Okay, now I'm crawling. Uh, that was that was cool. 
I, I didn't intend to do that, but I was doing it, so I like that. Um, <laughs> can I lift this or, like, do anything with it? I feel like I'm supposed to take... I feel like I'm supposed to take these? Okay, well now this is happening. I feel like I'm supposed to take these and stack them and then get to the... Oh no, I think I know what I have to do. I have to move the box... the boxes onto the plat... Oh god. <sighs> well now I'm down here, I guess. <laughs> Man, you should have just killed me. That would have been better. Uh... <laughs> Oh, now I'm back here? Fuck that. Okay, well... I'm gonna give this, like, one more quick shot, and then we're gonna probably move on, because this is pretty dull. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you fuck! You absolute scum dog! Okay, that doesn't count. That doesn't count as one more. We're doing one more. It's gonna be fine. That wasn't... That wasn't appropriate. That wasn't accurate to my- I didn't have time to train, okay? That wasn't fair. So, we're gonna do that again. We have to push the box onto this thing, I guess. And then, maybe move up? Okay, there you go. And then we move the box over here, I think. And then, uh... Probably jump off of the box, I'm guessing? Onto the- Windows? That doesn't work. Okay, fuck this game. Alright, so that was Hudson Hawk. That's fucking terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's astonishing. Back in the day, you know, all of the worst games that came out were like weird, shitty platformers that nobody would ever want to play. Now it's like weird, shitty third-person shooters that nobody would ever want to play. It's, it's amazing how times change. Back in the 90s, it was probably like there was a JRPG stint there. But, yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. The days of Bubsy are long behind us. We should do some Jeopardy, man. <laughs> that would be good. Journey to Silius, Karate Champ, Kid Cool, and the quest for the Seven Wonder Herbs. I don't know what this is, but it's a, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty standout name. That really draws me in, you know? That's got me on the edge of my seat. I want to know what the herbs do. Oh god, I remember this game! Isn't this the one where you have, like, a time limit for the entire game or something? Yeah, this is fucked. <laughs> oh my god, why... <sighs> the fucking... You guys remember the NES, the Nintendo seal of approval? Yeah. Remember how that was bullshit and doesn't mean anything? <laughs> Look at how much shit is on the NES! <laughs> There's so much trash! And what did they do to stop it? Nothing! Nintendo, you fucking frauds. Oh, that's good. I like these games on the NES. There's so many of them where you start off running. It's Mar Mario 1 did this too. You start off trying to like make a jump and you move at this speed and you can't make any fucking distance. Look at this. What the fuck good does this jump do? <laughs> so you have to actually have like a, a running start first. What? Okay, good, good. You have to have, like, a running start first so that your jump can actually clear any kind of distance. So, you just have to- oh my- oh, that's great. <laughs> Look at this! Look at how stupid that is! You have to plan every jump with, like, a running start, and now I'm dead. Okay. That's not very cool, thank you very much. I, they call this kid cool, but I'm finding it hard to believe- I don't know. I'm thinking he's a little more Lester the Unlikely. Uh, let's check the chat here, see what's going on. You time travel in a payphone booth, so- oh yeah, the- the- Yeah, I'm familiar with the concept of Bill and Ted, but- and I think I've seen somebody play that before. But I remember it being like about pipes or something, and instead it was just a phone book that doesn't work. Um... You're bad at games? I am. I- I agree. Um... What game is Deadwing playing? I'm playing everything. I'm playing all the games. You're really bad at games. What? You know, listen. You can't judge- I, I, I'm not going to argue with that, but you can't fully judge my skills at games until you've seen me die on the first boss of Castle Vi I mean, wait, shit. No, that makes me look worse! God damn it! Alright, well, moving on. <laughs> Let's find something that, that can accentuate my skills. 
and make me look like I am as good at video games as I totally am, I promise. This isn't a lie. I'm not lying. Um, why do I only have the first Ninja Gaiden? I feel like I'm missing a lot of shit. I gotta get more... I don't need more good games. I need more shitty... You know what? Let's play a good game. Let's play... Wait, what? No. Where's Power Blade? The one fucking good game I wanted to play in this whole fucking stream and I don't have it. Oh my god, there's two Power Blade games and I don't have either of them. This fucking blows. Why don't I have it? Oh my, should I do like a content search? This is fucking shit. God damn it. Uh, I'm not doing that now. Fucking. I wanted to show the wonder of fucking Power Blade to all of you guys. Because Power Blade's great. It's this fucking weird like side-scrolling... NES platformer game that I found. It's kind of like Contra. No, it's not Con. It's not like Contra. It's more like those. It's more like the Batman, the really good Batman NES game. You know the one? The is it the Joker one? I think it was the one by Sunsoft. Any anyways, it's like a side scrolly action shooty platformer, but you got like a boomerang, and it's really good. And the sequel's really good too. But I don't have either of them, so instead I'm gonna have to play Xenophobe. Oh my God! Somebody call Ralph. Somebody call Rock Paper Shotgun. <laughs> Here we are, everybody. It's, it's, it's the, it's the, I'm not even gonna, you know what? There's too many jokes to make. The game's called Xenophobe. Oh, it's by Sunsoft. We were just, I just mentioned them. This could be good. Let's, let's find out. Dr. Quack, Mr. Fog, and Dr. Zoro, I can't read that. Zoro IRS. I'm just gonna call it Miss. I'm just gonna call it Big Boss, but that's fine. We're gonna play as Doctor Quack, because whack. Because glorious Duxu, every day you see them swim and you cry. What am I doing? What is this game? <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever heard of this before, so this could be interesting. What the fuck? Oh God! What? 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 Why would you spawn me in a room with an enemy like that? That's so shitty. Oh, you die too. Fuck you. Oh, and then it just comes back. What is this game? <laughs> Why is half of the screen just the Sunsoft logo? Boy, they were really fucking proud of this one. Oh yeah, we need you all to see how great this game is. Get down. No, get down. Okay, now I'm dead, I think. Oh no, I'm through the... Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can fucking jump and, and hit a wall and then you f fall off and you have to like get back up. It's so stupid. <laughs> okay, this is gonna kill me. Okay, that's that's better. No, 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 I'm, I'm still alive. God damn it. Wow, look at how much health I have. I just realized health 790. I can keep doing this all day. I have so much health. I don't want to because this game's AIDS. But what am I expected to do here? Maybe I gotta shoot the guy. Maybe this is like a security guy. Got die, guy. No. So this person just told me that I was bad at video games, but I'd like to see them make the fucking sick ass jump over the guy's bullet that I just did. All right, I can't kill the guy, so we're gonna... What the fuck? What do you even call this game? Now there's another one of these fucking monsters happening. Oh my god. <laughs> this is such a fucking shit show. <laughs> Maybe we should go this way. Okay, we can go this way. Oh, uh, it's like, it's like ghouls and ghosts jumping. Like, you can't, you can't correct your, oh god. You can't correct your jump aim. You can't even turn around so you can shoot at the guy. Needless to say, there's no ability to aim up. I know what you might be thinking. Why don't you just aim up? No, nah, no, nah, son. Shoot the jelly from Zelda, I guess. What is that? I just... You keep picking things up and I don't know what they are. And now you kill a guy and it just immediately respawns. What in the fuck is this? Holy shit. Can you imagine, like, I know I made this joke before, but can you just imagine for a second you're five years old and this is your only game and you're poor and you find, like, some ad or something that makes it look cool 
and you want it. And I was a kid once, believe it or not. And I remember one time I, I was old enough for Superman 64 to be out around the time that I was like wee bab. And one of my birth, one of my like birthday wishes was I wish I could get Superman 64. And then my fucking parents rented it for me. <laughs> and I've discussed this before. It's one of those situations where the game is, is bad, but I'm too young and stupid to know. And I'm just like, wait, what? Flying through rings? What? Wait, what? Why is there fog everywhere? What? And I didn't even know who... Su I, like, I'd never read any Superman or watched the cartoons or seen the movies or anything. That was going to be my intro to Superman. So that's that. That's just my what I'm saying. Is like, imagine you're me as a kid, but your game is fucking xenophobe on the NES. At least in Superman, it's so bad it's good. But this is like, man... <laughs> That takes some fucking that wow that ta oh that that that's draining the life out of me. Um, let's play. Uh, we could play Wheel of Fortune. We could play Wally Bear and the No Gang and learn about the dangers of drugs. But Joel already did that, and I got I get called a Joel ripoff enough. So um, let's move. Oh fuck. Um, okay, well we're back up to the top of the list now by mistake. So uh, I, I'm gonna play a game. Do I have it? Oh god. Uh, I don't think I do. God damn it. I'm missing so many fucking games. All right, we're, we're gonna, I was gonna play a game that got advertised to me in a fucking Archie comic as a kid. And I, I thought it would be cool. Well, it was my cousin's like old Archie comic from when she was a kid and NES games were still being sold. But I saw it and I was like, wow, that looks cool. I wanna play this game. And then it was like some terrible, just like space shooter game. Uh, I forget what it was. I think it was called Belly of the Beast or something like that. Um, oh, no. I think I remember the name, but it was something insane and stupid, and so I don't actually remember what it was. Anyways, I'm going to try and find... I hope I have this one, because this is my backup for... Uh, do I... Oh, my God. I don't have Shatterhand either. Are you fucking kidding me? Do I literally only have the bad NES games? I wanted to play Shatterhand. It was my backup for Power Blade not being on here. I was going to play that because Shatterhand's another really underrated NES game. There's like an action, punchy, fight man's jumpy game. And it's pretty cool. And But I don't have it for some reason. <laughs> so the only recourse is to play Bart Simpson versus the Space Mutants. Obviously. That's my only option. Let's just check in on the chat here. See what you guys are saying. Oh man, I'm way behind. I'm t I'm we're we're on raisin chat here. Um, we got a super chat from Misuta Supakuro, who says uh, Tom and Jerry was fifty five dollars. My only other game, just <laughs> Tom and Jerry, huh? I'll see if I have that. <laughs> okay, so aliens are attacking. You don't need to know the story. It's a stupid story. It's this. It's the aliens from fucking from fucking Simpsons and they're attacking things and they're turning everything like purple I think and your job is as Bart Simpson your name John Bort and your job is to spray paint I guess all the things that are purple but you don't have spray paint yet so you gotta find the spray paint which I guess is this um Man, my spaghetti smells good. I'm just doing this with the r reminder that, like, this is all going to be worth it when I taste that sweet, sweet spaghetti. So now I've got, uh... I've got spray. Oh. Okay. Okay, we colored the thing. We're good. So we just have to do that in everything. We just have to color all the things. From purple to not purple. Doesn't this sound like a fun game, guys? Don't you wish you had this as a kid? Maybe you did. Maybe this is bringing back all sorts of fucking memories for you. <laughs> Wonderful memories of Bart Simpson versus the Space Mutants. Oh god, and now I'm dead. Alright, well, you get a taste of what the game is about. <laughs> Fuck that. There were a lot of shitty Simpsons games before they started making the decent ones, and even then, that only hap that only lasted for as long as the span of Simpsons Hit and Run, 
And then they stopped making decent ones. I owned the Simpsons game on my old DS as well. I don't have it anymore. But I did back in the day when I had a DS. And I was like, oh, this is cheap. Uh, I like the Simpsons. It's probably fine. The Simpsons game on other platforms isn't the worst. But the Simpsons game on the DS is like the most repetitive side-scrolling beat-em-up game. It's just generic. And the fucking characters won't shut up with the same voice clips er Oh, God. Um, we're going to see if we've got Tom and Jerry here in honor of that one fellow. We do. I don't know if this is the game that he had, but here is a Tom and Jerry game. I'm sure it will not disappoint. I'm sure it will be wonderful. Um, High Tech Expressions presents Tom and Jerry and Tuffy. Who the fuck is Tuffy? What is that? Like the fucking... Poochie? Is that like Poochie on his home planet or something? Tuffy. Okay. Right. Uh, oh, I skipped the thing. Well, we missed the uh, 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 vital Tom and Jerry lore, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Please tell me this wasn't the game you had. Oh, God. I hate this already. I... What did I step on? Now I'm dead. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh, my God. This is unacceptable to look at. This is just... Wow. No, you're dead. You fucking... You don't ex You don't deserve to exist. Not if I have to live in this fucking hellscape. Okay, so there's a pipe blocking my way, so I, I can't go that way. So, great. Um, yeah, you know, the hallmark of any great video game, as far as I'm concerned, at least any great NES game, make the player walk, like, five steps to the, to the right and then hit a, a wall that they can't pass. So they just have to fucking wander around. That's that's fun. Every player enjoys that. Um, okay. So sometimes the teeth go f extra far. Why are there teeth, by the way? Why is Tom and Jerry... F what? Which one is this? Is this the fucking Jer This is Jerry, because the other one's the Tomcat, right? So why is Jerry fighting chattering clown teeth and fucking nutcrackers? How am I expected to get past this pipe? What am I... Uh, you know when you're playing an NES game and the game is like, the game is like really simple. I mean, it's the NES, right? There's like fucking four buttons and there, it can't be, it can't be that hard to figure out what you're doing, but somehow you play You're playing this game and you get to this fucking pipe and it's like, how do I go forward? I don't know. Nothing happens when I press up and B. Oh, okay. Never mind. You can climb pipes. Never mind, I'm stupid. Apparently you can climb pipes. But only a little bit, I guess. You can't climb them. Oh, God. <laughs> so if you happen to climb in the wrong spot on the x-axis, you're not able to adjust your, yourself left and right. So you just have to jump. Or, okay, well, we're past that part. Maybe we're going to start to feel the glory of Tom and Jerry on the NES. Never mind, fuck this game. Okay, so that was Tom and Jerry. Uh... <laughs> I'm not going to be streaming for too, too much longer. I do have a spaghetti sauce to get back to and such. But uh, I do want to play a couple more shitty games. There's always room for some more shitty games. Do I have Terminator? Yes, I do. Of course I do. I have Terminator for the NES. I have fucking Circus Caper. I have Bioforce Ape and the unreleased California Raisins game. But somehow I don't have Power Blade, Power Blade 2, Shatterhand... Okay. A Terminator, ladies and gentlemen. This is fine. This is all just fine. But before we get into it, let's, uh, let's, let's jump to, uh, let's, let's see what's going on in the chat. Clay3613 asks if I got any awesome ROM hacks. I don't think I do. If I had ROM hacks, the first one that I would probably play would be Pussy City Pimps. You probably don't know about that one, but that was, when I was a kid, again, once again, another story of... Down, down, I mean, buying a legitimate collection of any... Fuck it. Pirating NES ROMs illegally like a bad person. Uh, like a bad, evil five-year-old. And one of the games that I found was called Pussy City Pimps. And, of course, I clicked on it. Apparently, it was River City Ransom. But it was like a ROM hack, and everything was, uh, as you can expect, pretty much. Uh, that was my only experience with River City Ransom. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Anyways, here's the Terminator game. Um, 
Licensed by Nintendo. So if you're not familiar with Terminator game, I suggest you check... Sub-licensed by Bethesda?! No, hang on. Wait, no. Did you commit, f commit freeze. Hang on. Commit restart. Hold on. Am I able to, like... Yeah. Okay. Licensed by Nintendo. Right. Sub-licensed by... Oh, you can't really see it now. Bethesda Softworks. <laughs> you fuckers! You fuckers! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> You're the ones that are to blame for this, you fuckers! Oh my god, first 76 and now fucking Terminator! Oh no! It wasn't enough that you ruined Commander Keen, you fuckers, now you have to ruin Terminator? Alright. Well, this is the Terminator game. If you're not familiar with fucking... If you're not familiar with AVGN and his classic videos about basically any of the games I'm playing, because I'm just a hopeless ripoff, uh, he covered this one pretty classically. This is pretty fucking bad, but I have a bit of a of an affinity for it. I'm not sure why. It's just got this, like, certain NES, like, scumminess that I like. Uh, yeah, you have to get down to shoot. There's, like, a delay to shoot. That's cool. Um, there's, like, a delay to jump. Moving has this, like, slow, like... It's almost like rotoscoped, like Prince of Persia or something, except it's awful and makes you want to kill yourself. Um, avoid that guy. We don't need that guy. Stop chasing me, dude. I know you. I know you love me, but just. What is the functional purpose of this? Look at how shitty this aiming is. You can aim your gun left or right. Or very slightly down. You can't aim all the way down. You can't aim all the way up. Just very slightly down. You can aim more diagonally up than you can down. Down, it's just like very slight. Up, it's like a decent amount. This guy's just giving up. Oh, fuck. Get, get away. Get away. No. No, you fuck. You scum. Okay. Well, we made it through the first level, at least. I think that's a grenade or something. I don't even know. Uh, get this. Here you go. Now, who says... Now, listen. Who says video games are hard? I just made it to the ladder, and I'm fine. I just beat the fucking first level of Terminator on the NES. Like, nobody can stop me. I'm great, man. No, you don't. You don't. You do not. Oh, God. I can't believe I'm playing Terminator for the NES right now. I just bought fucking- oh, where did you come from? I just bought fucking Witcher 3 and here we are. Alright, good shooting. Good shooting slightly up. Not down, cause down- it's- I swear, it's just very slightly down, but it's like way more diagonally up. It's weird. Anyways, uh, let's continue here. Oh, fuck you. No, you don't get to- you don't get to do that. Alright. We're gonna kill him by shooting him in the toes. So, in case you're wondering what this has to do with Terminator, I guess I'm Kyle Reese. And I don't know who these guys are supposed to be, but there's Terminators. That- that much is obvious. Uh... And then the Terminators get to a point- look at this- look at this great AI. Monkey see, monkey do, motherfucker. How am I supposed to shoot him slightly diagonally up if he's gonna stand there like an asshole? You fuck. Uh, okay, and now I'm dead. Well, that was the Terminator game. I think you get the gist of it. Uh, let's check the chat, see what's going on here. Duck game. Totally not Xenomorph. This part is awful. Oh, this port is awful. You've been live long? I've been live for like an hour or something. I'm not sure if I'm, uh... Why aren't you emulating these games on your computer? <laughs> because this is a real, authentic, genuine NES. Uh, that I uh, have and own. I own these games. Shut up. I own Terminator for the NES. Well, who doesn't? Who doesn't have that game? That's a great game. <laughs> Um, 
Can't wait for a xenophobe speed run. <laughs> yeah, man, catch it. It's gonna be it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be litty like a titty. Uh, <laughs> Good night, Liam Vogel. Have have a nice sleep. The the sickos will continue to party on in your honor. Um, hey, Deadwing Dork. I saw in your browser you had Plex. I do. A friend of mine. Uh, a friend of mine. Uh, invited me over to his server. He said it was better than Netflix, and it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty dang good. Uh, the only problem with Plex is the PS4 app is I don't know how some people can release apps and just think that they're okay. Like you use some of the apps on the PS4 and they just crash every second thing you try to do, and it's like how is this out there? How do people have this? How is there not rioting in the streets? How low are our standards that we're just willing to put up with these shitty apps? That, like, you click on pl the play button and it just crashes your entire PS4. Why is there so many people that are willing to... Gamers rise up, for fuck's sakes! <laughs> our, f our grandfathers didn't die in, in the war for this. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play some more games. Some Something else qu quickly, maybe. M maybe not quickly. Maybe I'll keep playing for the rest of the evening and I just won't even eat my spaghetti, but that's probably not going to happen because it smells pretty good. Uh, we could play Mario. That's always an option. Uh, oh, you know what we could play instead of Mario? Other Mario. <laughs> Blue Mario. <laughs> so, if you're not familiar with Super Pitfall on the NES, uh, you're about to be... <laughs> This game is great. Uh, Pitfall, classic Atari game. Everybody knows. Uh, here we have the NES sequel, which is obviously better, starring Blue Mario, as you can see. Uh, this is like the Super Mario Maker builder costume, except he's blue. He's even got the same Mario jump. It's kind of fucking infringement. It's it's a little bit it's a little bit shitty, but okay. Um, yeah, this game is fucking horrendous. <laughs> I don't remember that much about why it's so bad, except for, hey, here's a fun ladder. Let's go down here. Oh, bat that killed me. Oh, literally couldn't avoid the bat because it flew directly into, that's good. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what I remember from this game. That and also, why am I here? Hang on. Where the fuck is this and why am I here? <laughs> why did it respawn? Okay, apparently I made, pro I guess the game took pity on me for dying on that bat. And, okay, well, the, not not that much pity because I just died on the bat again. But they took pity on me and they warped me further because they knew that there was no way for me to get past the bat because it's placed in a shitty location. All right, well, moving on from the bat, here we are in this area. We're going to go on an exploration. We're going to find some cool stuff. This is basically Spelunky 2, everybody. It's finally here performing for you. Uh, good ladder. Very useful ladder perfectly good ladder. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I don't think I can make it that way. I'm not going to take the chance of trying to swim, because that's a fool's errand. Uh, here we are up on this spot, and there's another bat fella who is immune to bullets, apparently. That's cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, just, just immune to bullets. That's fine. Okay, so he's only immune to bullets when he's sitting there. You have to first lure him out. Oh, God. These bats are the most terrifying thing in fucking video games. What the fuck? You have to lure the bats out so that they can come and chase you, and then... Oh, God. Fuck you, frog. I got the gold. I'm living large. Out of my way. I'm calling this a victory royale, frankly. I got the gold. That's all that matters. Look, there's more gold. I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. What is that thing? Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm gonna get the other gold. Look at this. Look at... Get, get, get off. Get, okay. Look at all the gold! I am a rich fucking guy! Yeah! Jump in the air for the fucking... Mmm! Capitalism! I love it. Okay. So... More gold! God damn it! I could build fucking Sweden! I could literally build Scotland right now. If I wanted to. Sweden or Scotland. Either one. They're about the same. Um, just, okay, there's nothing else up here. Tons of gold. Frankly, I don't know why people say this game is bad. AVGN did a whole thing about it being terrible. But man. Okay, fuck that snake. That was not fair. 
Did you see what that fucking troll ass snake did? Fuck this game. Okay. Um. I don't know any other game that lets you be that much of a mogul and collect that much gold in, in that quick of a time, but I loved it. I, I, I enjoyed my experience thoroughly. I'm definitely not lying. Um, maybe I should play like one more game. Maybe just like one more. Isn't Super C the, like the really bad Contra? Or is that the other one? Um, it's fine, I'm not gonna play that, because if I play anything close to Contra, people are gonna realize that I actually am bad at video games. Um, so. Let's find something notor- Oh! Guys, the real canon Metal Gear 2 is here, everybody. We're gonna do it, Snake's Revenge. It's, it's happening. So if you're not familiar, uh, this is Metal Gear 2. <laughs> This is a sequel to the NES uh, Metal Gear that was like basically an unlicensed fucking hack job that Kojima has completely disavowed. So they d decided to make a sequel to this. Yeah, there you go, Metal Gear. They decided to make a sequel on the NES that had nothing to do with Kojima or any of his writing or anything. So he was so pissed about this fucking sequel that we're about to play that he decided to actually make Metal Gear 2, the actual version that people like, and went on to influence Metal Gear Solid. So, you actually have Metal Gear, you actually have this game right now to thank for Metal Gear as a whole. You're, you're fucking welcome. Um, Lieutenant Snake, we received information. We've received information from our intelligence man at the enemy's base. They have a weapon. It is Metal Gear. Or is it Metal Gear? Which okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> I tried to do the Colonel, but it, John Turner and the Navy's Info Center Infiltration Pro. Okay, so we got a squad. We got the squared. We're all here. So yeah, for anybody who wanted some more awesome NES Metal Gear action, I know I know so many people did. Um, fuck off. Here, here it is, guys. Metal Gear 2. Move aside, fucking Phantom Pain. <laughs> well, let's be fair. Phantom Pain is not that much better than this. Phantom Pain's story is no more canon than this is, so... Oh, God. Well, I'm already half dead, so this isn't going well. I'm also not that good at sneaking, apparently. I'm not sure if this even has anything to do with stealth, really. Seemed like those guys just kind of got me, but okay. Is there a secret in the truck? No. Mm, okay. Okay, avoid the spotlights, I guess. Have no idea where I'm going, but hey, I got caught by the spotlights. That's cool. Oh, boy. Okay, just kill me. That's fine. This is fine. This is what Snake deserves. I can't stand to play more of this. By God. The graphics look like fucking vomit. The controls are stiff. You fuck... I, I would play more of it sometime, maybe. <laughs> but uh, maybe if I had a password... Let's try one more time, I guess. It's, it's not cool to give up that quickly, even if the game is so bad. Um... Okay, we didn't get spotted that time. The guys didn't notice us. Can we go through here? I feel like there's a secret in that truck, but there's not. Okay. The question is, is this worse so far than the fucking NES, the original NES Metal Gear? How did you see me? I was behind a thing! Oh my god. Oh my god, and then it doesn't stop when you go to another screen? Are you fucking with me? Go away! <laughs> uh. This is still happening! Wow! So you just get caught once and then it's just basically game over. It's just, wow, great game design. You just can't escape the enemies. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so that's Snake's Revenge. I can see why Kojima was so fucking mad. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? They made a sequel? They made Metal Gear 2? Oh my god, it's terrible. I have to take matters into my own hands. 
I have to make a fucking series that goes on like seven games too long and over explains itself with a Mount Snake more that nobody asked for <laughs> and outstays its welcome just a little bit, just slightly. I like Metal Gear though. Don't don't shit on me. Okay, we're gonna play one last bad game here. One last one. Something really bad. Something that's like really poopy, and and not good. Uh, fucking where? I play Power Blade. God damn it. Okay. Um. Something that's terrible. Something that nobody likes. Uh, something that nobody in their right mind. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have enough shitty games on here. Like, a lot of these are okay or not bad enough that I can, <laughs> like, easily make fun of them. Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. Are we gonna beat people over the head with fucking golf clubs? I, I can't, I'm sorry. I can't even muster up the pretend enthusiasm to play a golf game, though. So that's not going to happen. Um, Knight Rider. They made a Knight Rider game. Uh, um, Karate Kid. That's a classic bad one. Um, she, oh, fucking Temple of Doom. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Here's Temple of Doom, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Uh, come on. We can do it. All right. This is actually not a bad movie. I know people don't like this one. This is like the worst Indiana Jones for a lot of people, but I like Temple of Doom. I, I, I liked it. It's not very good compared to the first one in retrospect. I saw it once as a kid, and I thought it was better than the first one. But then recently I saw them both, and no. The first one is like a really tightly, perfectly structured script, and Temple of Doom's kind of all over the place. And speaking of being all over the place and kind of not very good, here's the game <laughs> based on it um, for the wonderful NES. You know, I'm inclined to think at this point the NES really is kind of just a piece of shit as a, of a system. Like, yeah, it had a few great games. A, a couple of really great... Okay, so currently I'm... Oh. Yeah, you have to press select to start the game. Okay. Yeah, the NES had a couple of really great games, but let's be honest here, 90% of the fucking console is shit like this. <laughs> this is most of the NES. This is what this is what most of your time is going to be spent on. So you have to go around collecting babies and keys and stuff. Uh Oh great. No, that's cool. What the fuck is that jump? It jumps me down. What? Okay. Okay. You have to whip across that. So here's the baby. Get the baby. All right. We got the we got the baby and we got the up. Everything is great. Arrows locate hidden warps. Uh-huh. And now we're doing mine carts. Oh boy. Everybody's fucking favorite. All right. Um Okay, we're off the minecart. We're back to getting the babies. Everything's fine. Boy, this is... This is some fucking gameplay and a half right here. Wow. Um, do I get to use these guns or anything? No? Do, do I? I guess not. Okay, now I'm dead. So jumping just, jump, just dumps you into the lava. Jumping is bad. You don't want to do that. Uh... Can I jump up? No. Can I... Ugh. Like, I just want to know what the creative process was. You know what I mean? Like... It's so bad. <laughs> I just don't know how you could... Anybody could, like... Okay, now we're back here, so that's cool. Um... I just don't know how anybody could fucking play this and be like, Oh yeah, this is good. This is fine. Ship it. This is great. No, oh, the kids will love it. No, oh, yeah, it's fine. Minecarts, collecting babies. Kid, kids will fucking love it. Can I? Okay. Okay, I'm off of the thing. We're collecting babies still. I figured it out. You gotta aim up when you jump off. You gotta aim your jump up. The question is, is this better than Action 52? Uh, I don't know, but I, I found the way. 
I'm making more progress than any time and than anything in Action 52, so I must be doing something right. Come on. Why did they make me press select to fucking continue? What the fuck? God, select was a mistake of a button. Let, let's just let's just be honest. Select was a button that nobody knew how to do anything with. Okay, somebody just punched me and now I'm down here, I guess. Who is this guy? Fuck off. Select is a button that nobody knew- okay, now we're going this way. Nobody knew how to do anything with select, so they just bound weird, stupid shit to it. And now, at this point in time, select isn't even, like, necessary. <laughs> I mean, it kinda is, though, and that's why PlayStation has to have, like, this, the thing where you press in the pad. God, the pad is stupid. What a dumb concept the pad is. The fucking touchpad thing on the PS4. It's like, yeah, we can touch, except... We can touch things on like a, the, that's lava? What? How does that make sense? What is the perspective on this fucking game? How does that, what, what? That looks like it's something in the walls. How is that fucking lava if this is a mine cart? What the fuck? Oh God. I'm getting to the point where I'm just rambling about shit I don't like in video games, too. This isn't good. This game's messing with my mind. Um, okay, I touched a pixel of wall lava and I died. All right, so that was Indiana Jones, and I think that might have been the stream, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you for joining me on this wonderful foray into nonsense. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna catch up on the on the chat here. Definitely a Joel ripoff, a thousand percent. He even sucks at video games. Yeah, I agree. He may nuke Denmark at some point. <laughs> um, he definitely watches Binny Bynes. So that, that's listen. I'm a legally distinct clone because I'm from Can I'm from Canada, so it's fine. <laughs> Music is cursed. What the fuck is this, Tom and Jerry? I want to see if that one fellow who did the super chat, if he conf could confirm whether or not climb the mini. Okay, that was him. This was his game. He was five and it was bad. So that was the Tom and Jerry game. <laughs> I'm so oh god, I just dropped. I'm sorry, I just dropped the chat on the floor. You guys are all dead. My mistake. Uh, press F. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry for you, sir. <laughs> With your five years old tom and jerry game that sounds fucking atrocious i i, I apologize for you uh <laughs> for that if you grew up with crappy nes games and you did not have the manual or nintendo power for the game you were playing you were screwed pretty much yeah <laughs> like a lot of games back then absolutely demanded that you read the manual or else you had fucking no idea what was going on or what anything was um I don't like that most games don't have manuals now, like physical ones, but uh, I do like that games are usually no longer so cryptic that you have to read the manual first. Um, let's see what's going on here. Traded my Sonic 4 cart for Arrow with a guy from school and he never traded back. Sonic 4? You mean like bootleg Sonic 4? You mean like Somari? Do I have Somari? Hang on. I'll play Somari if I've got that. God damn it. I can't play Power Blade. <laughs> I'll play Somari. Do I have it? No, I don't think so. Next time I do an NES shit stream, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna get some more bad games, because this is paltry. Some of these are kind of interesting sounding, though. Solar Jetman Hunt for the Golden Warp Ship. Let's just check this out real quick. I want to see what this is. That sounds so amazing. That sounds like a blockbuster fucking film, man. That how could this be bad? Rare coin it incorporate is that is that the rare? Yeah, 1990 rare. This is a rare game in more ways than one. Solar Jetman, we're doing it. It's happening. We're approaching the planet. This is your bonus game, ladies and gentlemen. I was going to close the stream, but you know, Solar Jetman just got me hooked. Look at these graphics. They're actually pretty good the NES. Those are some nice cliffs. I like those. Look at these graphics. This is fucking dope. We found a we found a banger here at the end of the stream, guys. This is great. Oh, it's got like 3D effects, kinda, sorta, not really. Okay, what am I expected to do? Is this like Moonlander game? I think this is Moonlander game. 
but I don't know where to land. Oh god, and I'm dead. Uh, oh no, I'm not dead. They give you a chance. This isn't like brutal NES game. This is like they let you fail and just okay. Well, that that that's that's my bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm, okay. Well. Now I'm just a guy. Now I'm just a lone spaceman on his mission. I don't have a ship. I don't have... I'm far from home. And I'm dead. Okay, well, that was a short-lived story. But, man, that game's kind of cool, actually. It's like an exploration Moonlander game. I like that. I'm glad that I just happened to click on that. I might not have Power Blade or whatever, but at least I got that. Anyways, let's catch back up with the chat here as I was attempting to do Mario, Luigi... And Roberto, <laughs> you guys are. This is kind of far, kind of far behind for me now. I, I needed to be checking a little more. I was hoping to come into Fortnite. <laughs> Lee Trevino's fighting golf. Yes, I should should have. Either you know Fortnite or Lee Trevino's fighting golf. The two genders. You know. Um, <laughs> why is there no Hotline Miami for NES? I mean, there is the Narc game. I guess that counts. Uh, fucking cursor re oh you can see the cursor oh i'm sorry i'll try to i'll try to fix that next time uh all right i think i'm gonna start winding this one down thanks for joining me once again guys uh might do this again tomorrow might not maybe some other weird games maybe something that isn't games who knows i i do really like streaming and i'm glad that i can do it now so that's pretty cool um, yeah, stay, stay epic, gamers. Don't, uh, let the Cheeto dust sink into the really hard-to-reach crevices, because that could be a pain. All right, bye. Have a good night. <laughs>